Good morning. Good morning. I think I can do better. I know it's early, y'all, but good morning. Get back to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I need that energy. I need that. I need that. So, uh, just tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I go by Moody Black. I uh, was born in upstate of South Carolina. But the topic, there's different topics, various topics. A poem, there's rhythm, or the three R's rhythm, rhyme, repetition. Some poems are written in free verse. I mean, there's no rhyme, it's just written freely. A poem expresses your feelings, emotions. A poem can talk about things you want to do, places you've been, places you want to go. Now think about a song. What does a song talk about? The music you listen to, what do they talk about? They talk about gang life. Same thing. But the same thing. Even if you're involved in that life, you talk about things you've done, things you've seen. That's what a poem does. So you, you, you're listening to poetry. And I always go, I, I talk to people about this, and they, they be freaking out. What? I've been doing this for a long time. But how many y'all know, know who LeBron James is, right? Now, arguably one of the best players of this generation. Uh, <laughs> that I said arguably. If there could be some debate. Who's that? Come on, bro, stop. Really? Stop, bro. You stop capping. Anyway. Brandon, you just got 100. <laughs> Look at <laughs> I didn't say I thought he was the best. I'm just saying arguably one of the best. But anyway, LeBron had been playing ball since 12 years old. At 12 years old, this brother decided, you know what? He told his peers, I'm going to be in the NBA one day. He said that. 12 years old. Do you think he got laughed at? Yeah. There's some folks saying, they ain't going to be in no NBA. That dude at that moment decided he manifested. And I love that word. We'll talk about that word today. He manifested. I mean, he spoke what he wanted. And he started working hard. He worked hard. He made some sacrifices. I mean, he got to give up some things. I'm quite sure he wanted to hang out all the time. He didn't do that. He was on the ball court. I'm quite sure he wanted to play his video games all the time. He was on the ball court. He worked hard. So around 15, 16, people start noticing this guy named LeBron James is killing it in school. He's killing the game. He get national attention now. 18 years old, I don't know if y'all knew this, he got drafted. Number one pick in the NBA that year. At 18 years old. He said in the projects in Akron, Ohio. He took his mama out the hood. He was a millionaire at 18 years old. A millionaire. Let's go. Y'all clap for them. Let's go. You show love over here. We gonna clap. Some of y'all ain't clap y'all in. Y'all ain't clap. Oh. I want, I want a room full of haters. We can't be hate, y'all. We have to elevate each other up. I'm all about elevation. So, a metaphor, you compare two things without using like an ass. You say something is something. All right? What, what's your name, bro? Chaz. Chaz. All right, now. We're going to use figurative language, and we got to think outside the box. All right, I'm going to use an example. Nothing bad. All right, so understand, I'm not going to be little. I don't want you to think little. All right? So if I say Chaz, right? Chad. Chad. If I use a simile, I say Chad runs fast like a cheetah. That's a simile. All right? Now, if I make it a metaphor, you have to say something is something. So I'm going to say Chad is a cheetah. Now, is he really a cheetah? No. no. Do we have spots or anything like that? Nah, but I'm using figurative language. But we understand that Chad is fast. I'm saying Chad is a cheater. I'm comparing Chad to something that's fast. That must mean Chad is fast. That's metaphor. That's figurative language. Now, I know a lot of times in poetry, we don't understand how metaphors work. We don't understand figurative language. A lot of times we get lost in it. We get lost in poetry, but I don't understand it. It's not making sense because usually we think in literal. But when reading poetry, you have to wear two hats. You have to think literal, and you have to think figuratively, using figurative language. And a lot of times in poetry, we get lost in the figurative language, but we have to train our minds to go outside the box. All right? All right, now, who want to volunteer? Let's go, all right? Stand up where you are. Everybody else, respect the mic. Shh. Let's go! Oh my God! Let's go! Woo! That was beautiful! 
people. I love some octopus holy. Ooh. Let's go. Who next? I'm loving it already. Let's go. Oh, and quick note, y'all. Please don't, please don't compare yourself to somebody else. Mine ain't like that. No. It ain't supposed to be like that. We all are different. It, we all are different, so don't get caught up in that. So please share your story. Who's next? Let's go, let's go, sis, let's go. All right, respect the mic, respect the mic, respect the mic. Let's go! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! Let's go! Who next? Let's keep it going. Let's do about two or three more. Two or three more. Come on, come on. I know you want to do it. Go ahead, do it. We got you. We're going to support you. We got your back. We got your back. Go ahead. We got your back. We got you. Let's go! Now y'all scare me. No, we don't be scared. We got you. Let's go. Yes! Let's go! I like to go to the line. I don't want to see. Now, bro, I haven't heard one dude yet. Bros, we gotta represent. I need, I need some bros. Come on now. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Respect the mic. Respect the mic. My mama is gorilla protecting me. My grandma is a bear making sure I'm fed. Mm. My uncle is a spider because it keeps me happy, ferocious. My cousin is an alligator because she likes to fight, and I'm a joke because I'm shy. Oh, wow. Good job, man. You ain't shy no more. <laughs> Shut up. Anybody else? No. Nobody? So you go. You gonna point well, you go, why you gonna point to her? You can't do it. Wait, but you gonna point to her though. Let's go, baby, let's go. Spread the mic, spread the mic, spread the mic. Let's go! I love it, I love it. One more, give me one more, one more, one more. We'll move to the next one. One more. One more press. Come on, y'all. Don't be, hey, it's, it's okay to be nervous. Embrace it, but be brave. At some point in your life, you gotta be brave, y'all, but be brave for the right reason. One more person. Let's go! Thank you, Queen. Let's go. My little brother is a fox, sneaky cookie. My best friend is a peacock, opening her arms to me. And I'm an owl, staying up at night, deep in thoughts. Let's go! Oh my God! Look at all these incredible writers. I'm telling you, do not ever be ashamed to shine your light, y'all. That's our problem. We dim our light for, some, for other people. We turn our light down instead of turning it all the way up. We worry about what somebody going to say. That's the reason we don't do stuff like this. That's the reason we don't share. We worry about being judged. We worry about somebody not liking what we produce. Forget all that. Especially if we all doing the same thing. How's someone going to judge you when we all doing the same thing? How's someone going to criticize what you're doing when we all doing the same thing? And that's what we worry about. We're so concerned with what somebody else thinks that we turn our light down. That we don't live our best life and worry about what somebody else is saying or what they're not doing. And they're in the cut not living their life. So you're not going to live your life because somebody else ain't living their life. Because that's what it is. We're so wrapped up in what everybody else is thinking that we don't think about our own thoughts. Think about that. We don't think about our own thoughts. We turn our light down for other people because they got their light down. Because they don't want to see you shine because they're scared to shine theirs. Don't ever be scared to shine your light. 
still use a metaphor. Remember, metaphor, prepare yourself, prepare something without using like an ad. You say something is something. All right? I want you to think about what you feel is the best part of you. All right? It could be your eyes. It could be your nose. It could be your elbow. It could be your left pinky toe. But I want you to think, have in your mind what you feel is the best part of you. It could be your heart. It could be your mind. It could be your soul. It could be your hands, your legs. All right? So we're going to call this poem The Best Part of Me. That's going to be your title. The Best Part of Me. Remember, each line you come up with has its own space. Remember, we organize the poems. There's a structure to it. We're not, we're not writing an essay. We're not doing homework. Each thought has its own line. So if I say, the best part of me is so the best part of me is my beard. I love my beard. Best part of me is my beard. I'm letting the reader know exactly what's going on. I'm telling y'all frank what I feel is the best part of me. My next line, I'm going to start explaining why. Now, first line, I'm, I want to compare my beard to something. I'm going to make a metaphor. I want you to come up with a metaphor line. I want you to say, my elbow is a blank. My hair is a blank. A lot of times, if you got long, long hair, what's something that's flowing? A river. You can say, my hair is a river. My elbow is a mountain. My mind is a university. I want you to compare whatever you chose as the best part of you something else. It could be anything. It could be a building. It could be a school, a library. It could be a church. Or it could be something in nature, a river, a tree, a mountain. Uh, it could be an insect. It could be whatever you want it to be. I want you to come up with a metaphor. So your next line is going to be a metaphor line. So I'm going to say my beard is a tree. 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 Look at the tree. Maybe a bush. I don't know. <laughs> I would say a meadow. Grassy fields. So your next line should be a metaphor. Compare your whatever you chose as the best part of you to anything outside. Anything. Anything you want to be. It can be a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> My feet is a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> well, you know, we can't, we're not taking literal, though. We use a figurative language. Create the best life for yourself. Okay? All right. Who's done? All right. Who would like to share? All right. She, she asked first. I got you there. I got you there. All right, y'all. Spake the mic. Remember, you hear something you like. All right. Spake the, the mic. Best, spake the mic. The best part of me is my skin. My skin is smooth as rich chocolate. Ooh. My skin is a cup of coffee. My skin smells like a cheese mix. My skin sounds like a great path. My skin feels like smooth cocoa butter. My skin tastes like chocolate cake. If I didn't have my skin, I wouldn't feel as confident. Let's go! Let's go! I love this, man! I love this! Let's go! All right. Ready? Spake the mic. Spake the mic. The best part of me is my soul and my purpose. My soul flows deep into a ravine of hope and passion. Overflowing into endless oceans. A character so mysterious only known to few, giving an icy hot aura, reaching out to the lost souls like a candle in the dark moon. If I didn't have these two coinciding with each other, I would be like a lost soul in the dark ocean with no guiding light. Oh. This is the best part. Let's go! Oh my God! This is amazing. Y'all are amazing. Welcome to share. Let's go. I see you ready. I got you next, bro. See how we all inspire and motivate each other? I love it. I love it. I right, respect the mic. Respect the mic. The best part of me is my mindset. My mind is a university. The fact that I'm only 14 and got the dreams of a successful businessman. My mind sounds like Moody Black and he's preaching about not caring what everyone has to say about me. My mindset tastes bitter when I basically don't care, but I matured up and believed in myself. My mindset feels like it's about to explode when it comes down to math. My mindset looks like the sunset when everything goes as planned. My mindset feels like the most intelligent thing possible. If I didn't have my mindset, 
I'm loving it, y'all. Y'all, y'all, ooh, about to blow up. The, the best part of me is my smile. My smile is the moon. My smile smell like, smells like happiness and rainbows. My smile feels warm and fuzzy. My smile tastes like Skittles. My smile sounds like hope for others. Ooh. My smile looks blind, looks like a blinding light. If I didn't have my smile, there would be no happiness. The best part of me is my smile. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Let's go. I'm loving this, man. I'm loving it. All right, speak the mic. Speak the mic. Seeing never speaking, my eyes are the, my best part. My eyes are fresh because earth allows a spring of ideas and opportunities. They scan across papers, scenery, words, a world rough down the gliding. My eyes have no ears, but they have heard the despair of characters. Have no skin, but they have felt the sting of tears. Champagne running down my cheeks, cartoons from the coast. My eyes are my best part. They are well, dancers. And they are admirers of the very nature that they come from. Without my eyes, my world would grow so much. Small spaces would become locked. Open caverns where paper becomes rolled. My fingers travel. But I do have my eyes. So my eyes are my best part. My God. My God. Oh, my God. Y'all are amazing, man. Who else wants to share? Nobody just say, nobody don't hear share yet. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm, I stand correct. So I think, wait a minute now. Hold on, what you ain't gonna do, Moody? <laughs> Anybody else? One more. Give me one more. One more. I won't, I won't bother you. One more. Nobody? One more. Y'all be brave, y'all. Hey, take advantage. I got, I got a guest here today. Take advantage of this opportunity, y'all. Don't lose your opportunity. Nobody? Go on once. Oh, go on twice. Okay, thank you. Let's go. Let's go. The best part of me are my eyes. My eyes are a passageway. The hue being a deep brown showing all emotions is intended. Seeing the future blurring without my contacts is clearly and successfully in my absence. Each blink like a pause further reflecting my origin. If I didn't have my eyes, life, life will feel sad. No color, no faces, no me. The best part of me are my eyes. Let's go. Oh my God. Matter of fact, y'all, this is clap for everybody. Y'all, clap for everybody. So, a couple of things. I know time probably is getting close to, to the end. Uh, do y'all enjoy that? Yeah. Even though this year, I'm still, I hope you wrote something and faced yourself. A lot of times, we don't celebrate ourselves. We don't think about what we feel is the best part of ourselves. We just live our days, go about our business. We don't take time to celebrate who we are. And it's okay to do that, y'all. And, and, I, and I believe in giving everybody else their flowers and celebrate other people, but you can't do that if you don't ever celebrate yourself. And that's not being a huge, having a huge ego or nothing. It's being confident. You don't have to be cocky. You can be confident like, man, I, I do have nice eyes. I do have a great mind. And it's okay to celebrate that, y'all. Do not ever, ever turn your life down. All right. Man, look at this school right here. It's incredibly awesome. It's like a campus, like a college campus. It's not even like doing it justice. It's way bigger than this. So I just get out. Man, I just had an amazing time with young people here, man. It's super dope. Super dope. And it's a, some kind of historical landmark in here, too. So, yeah, here in the Chuck, Charleston, we just finished uh, talking to the young folk here at Burke High School. We did a workshop with some freshmen and juniors and maybe a few seniors was in there. But uh, yeah, it was really super dope. I just love, I just love Charleston, man. It's beautiful. And it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day, man. So we did, uh, 
course, metaphors. We did a poem, the best part of me poems, and uh, came with some beautiful poems, man. Beautiful poems. Oh, um, yeah. So about to head back to the upstate. But uh, yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all keep doing what you're doing. Man. Check out my videos. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, y'all. Y'all know what it is. Love you, baby. Can be on the grass. See you next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.